Hey everyone, so I just thought um, since I did not do a plan with me um, for March and I'm sorry guys, I haven't been sleeping so good so I kind of have done half of my April as well but I wanted to quickly show you uh, what my highlights page for March uh, is like and instead of drawing it by hand this time I kind of so I had got some Tombow markers and so this was on that and I wanted to keep a keepsake so I used it and I have not yet written in because we are not yet end of the month and so this time I had to reduce uh, my highlights page this will be the gratitude and my self reflection or musing kind of thing um, and in April all I have done is add a few stickers some washi to make it look like spring and you know this flower washi for a spring feeling and so this is a decoupage paper which I wanted to try and so I covered this up I've stuck a washi kind of washi sticker but washi is a kind of paper this is not washi paper but it's a strip so let's call it that and so I did not particularly like the whales uh, that Alicia had put in April so I pretty much covered up most of them here's again some washi to bring in the spring elements and I went with yellow um, these are mostly for Easter but I didn't care and I just went ahead and put them here that's a rabbit and some chicks and I again have put the dividers using thin washi these are not the thinnest one and I laid these down but I wasn't too happy the way it was looking so then I switched over to this I continued with this green and yellow floral thin washi yeah baby chicks aren't they cute they're adorable they're so cute some tulips and so continuing I really like how this looked and some eggs and I left one just so I could remember um, what else did I do in April nothing much else that's what I have done uh, these that you saw in the beginning I'm in the process of making my task cards uh, using some laminate sheets and sticky note sheets so if you would like to see how to do a DIY because I just love doing these things uh, something else that I recently made is this bookmark um, it's not looking the best because I have to figure out a, um, a bead that I want to clip here till then this is a clip from my childhood so I just put that there and essentially it is three ribbons and some beads and you can just use this when you need additional bookmarks in your planner like so and they can all go in separate pages etc. So I've just been doing some DIY. Um, so let's also quickly there are a couple of pages in my Hobonichi cousin which is going really well my dad I'm loving it and um, talking about DIYs I also have been making a kind of planner cards or something um, using some of my favorite stickers which I haven't been using all these years because I love them so much so I made a whole bunch eight or nine of these um, So let's get into one more DIY of mine in just a second. So, <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
what I ended up doing, people, I've not been sleeping too good. And so, I, when I have not been able to sleep, I kind of started decorating. And one day I was kind of organizing my washi tapes. And then I got carried away <laughs> and just started making the layouts or the color schemes, shall we say. Oh, I love this is stunning, don't you think? So, <clears throat> the next DIY of mine is this. Is um, I, I have been making something from L folders. And so this was just a leftover piece of it. And what I did is I made a rough kind of reminder instead of making you know like putting these stickers every day and it becomes repetitive and boring so i kind of have put in the important chores you know like over here in the blank space like so would go the red calendar day if it is anything special and then starting the day with household chores like doing the dishes the washing machine the dusting and cleaning making a bed vacuuming any and all of that and then get into my planner to see if there's something else uh you know reading writing all that kind of thing this is for um like if i have to make a grocery list if i've done some shopping so i need to put in my budget um you know if i have purchased some fresh groceries uh, cooking for the day, self-care of the day, any um, memory or if I made a video in fact on that day like today uh, on YouTube or uh, if I have watched something spectacular or I want to remember it, my writing and if I have watched a good movie or maybe Netflix I want to remember. So I just made this and it's completely kind of aligned. here so it gives me enough space and uh, for me to be able to remember where to write those things and of course I had to stick but first coffee because I cannot even begin to use my brain or get any energy without my mug full of um, coffee right now I am having apple juice while I'm recording with you guys and in the daily section I don't want to show certain pages which have certain personal things but there are a couple that I am really happy the way they turned out and I just wanted to kind of show you um, these two pages uh, how I have used the stickers as well as my tombos these are some quotations uh, hence wherever one quote starts I've just put a dash just so I can demarcate and I just St. Pat Patrick's Day layout I did leave some space in case there was something I wanted to write so far I haven't and I did try some doodling uh, you know so it was an image on an art book uh, of this brand Brustro, Brustro, oh my god, it's too hard. Uh, and so I really, really enjoyed that. And there are some, this is another spread that I absolutely am enamored by. I, I do love how it turned out. And for Holi, <laughs> I kind of was trying something and um, I might have to put a sticker or something. I don't like how that turned up. And then I tried another way. Uh, instead of going the full way um, like so I'm just playing around because um, this year I'm using my Alicia Souza this is one I'm just trying to see if I were to invest in this uh, how would I use it where would I be putting everything and so because I'm someone who needs time to get used to things and I cannot get into an abrupt change so that's what I am doing and I love how this turned out they are all different stickers I just lettered that in and this I have just made I cut it out and um, I don't want to ruin it so I've just used a pin to hold it in place and later I might 
just laminate it and make it into kind of a die cut uh, i love how this went with the easter theme so that's what i have been doing um i like how that turned out that's a doodle i did um so uh, there is the coffee monsters co um a brand of stickers and journaling things kits and stuff so i love watching her vlogs and her videos and she kind of had shown how to doodle using your tombow you just make the shape and you know so i did not have any reference for this but i just went with it and here are some washi stickers um and i will be writing around that i'm not yet written but yes um so i was quite happy the way that turned out and is there something else so uh those are just some of my flip throughs and i would love to hear your thoughts and would you like to see some of the diy's and um in your comments please do let me know where you are watching from and uh if anything at all leave me your suggestions or whatever and if you uh, i hope you know that you can go on top while you're playing the video and you can adjust the speed as well as you can use the auto translate captions if in case my accent or something is not clear or you prefer to read along as you watch you can definitely do that as well uh please do remember to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for spending your time with me i hope to see you in the next one Bye